2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. You can't know God for yourself. Somebody must teach you. Somebody must teach you. That's why he gave gifts to men. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastoring teachers. He gave gifts to men to teach men. You can't just know God for yourself. Somebody must teach you. And has been assured of. Look at, look at what he will say next. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Knowing of whom. Not knowing of, of where you learned them from. Uh -uh. Knowing of a specific person. There must be somebody that is responsible for your, your doctrinal persuasion. That is somebody that has the responsibility of handing over to you a body of truth systematically taught. There must be somebody. Look at 2 Timothy 2 2. Kabayada as I close. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Look at me everybody. We are teaching you so you will know everything we have taught. Not some. Everything. So that the body of truth we have given to you over time. You too can carry that same body of truth and hand over to others. Not scattered. Not sparse information. No, no, no. A comprehensive, a diligent commitment to the study of God's word. That is the way not to ask foolish questions. That is the way not to ask stupid questions. And that is the way to come to a place of knowing God in the person of Christ. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. But they are they which testify of me. Stand on your feet. That's all I've got for you, Chris. Father, I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice. Men, women, boys, girls, ministers of the gospel, people that have been in a dilemma, people that have been in a lacuna where they don't know why certain things are the way they are. I want to pray for children who have always asked why did God allow this to happen to my parents and I want to pray for people Lord tonight who have certain questions that are still locked up in their minds who are still wondering but why God God why but why but why father I ask that their understanding will be enlightened that they will come face to face with the loving heart of a loving father that they will come face to face with their realities in Christ that every doubt will be dissolved every fear will be dissolved Every question will be answered. Every confusion will be cleared. Legado Gaba. The eyes of your understanding flooded with light. The revelation of Jesus rises big in your heart until nothing else matters. Lord, I decree that doubts will be dissolved. Clarity comes by your word. Your people built up, equipped, edified. And the word of his grace grows big in our world until the devil has nowhere to hide. We give you praise. We rebuke sickness and, and disease. We rebuke every oppression of the enemy. Loose in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for grace and mercy tonight. In Jesus' precious name. And every believer says that amen like thunder.